the next thing I want to show is styling and mashing up of data, but pr particularly the styling. Um, let me pull that up. And this one you built right for this demo, the, this webinar, so it's not yet publicly available. That is correct. Okay. Yeah, but it will be. But it will be. So here's the XML that you, we can hit. That's that service that yeah. every time we hit it. This is, I mean, look at this. This is why I love XML. It's beautiful. It's, it's human readable. It's human readable. It's, I think my dog could actually be trained to read this. I think it could be. Uh, <laughs> in here we've got the latitude, the longitude. Pay attention. We've also got the heading and the speed here. We're going to use both of those okay. columns in our example. But let's see what it looks like. Uh, when we convert it to KML. Okay. So here we're going to go into the FME server web interface here, and we're going to run the KML network link service. So that gives us a link that will refresh and get us the most recent data from that uh, service. Right. Here we go. It's going to refresh once to grab the initial data. Right. And once it's done that, be able to zoom into it. It doesn't normally take this long. It doesn't normally take this long. Let's see. We're on local host. Things are looking okay. They should have been looking okay. We can always fall back to the old static example. But this, what this should do is it should go out to FME server and say, give me the latest XML. But since it's uh, being temperamental for us, we'll open up. It worked like two minutes ago. Two minutes ago it worked. Yeah, perfect. That's how demos go sometimes. Especially ones under development. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, here are here are basically the um, the buses in green and red. So the red is the bus that stops. The green has is actually an arrow showing not only the direction but the orientation. So we can use that field to uh, to tilt the arrow. And I'm just going to quickly show the workspace just to walk you through that because it's. It's not too complicated, actually, to do something like this. Does it have less than 15 transformers? You oh, it, it does. does. It has yep. six. I'll go full screen, and then I'll zoom full. We're reading in the XML. We're uh, turning those lat long into an actual geometry, a point. Yeah. We're testing to see if the bus is uh, going faster than zero. If right. it is, then we're going to give it an arrow. If it isn't, then we're going to style it with, I'll just show you quickly, a red stop sign, as you right. saw on there. Yeah. We're giving the the, uh, the the feature an ID. Yeah. And then this is where we set the actual orientation so the arrow turns the right way. Yeah. So yeah. pretty simple. Not not too hard. Mm -hmm. This will be available, as Don's saying, on FMEpedia. So and, and actually it'll be the download from the webinars page. Perfect. So it'll be included there. 